Hi everyone, welcome to a video where I'm going to cover the MD drop down menu. Uh, you can see an example right here. So here's my main app, and when I click these buttons over here, this little menu is what I'll be covering this drop down menu. So, how to create it, how to open it. Um, here's another button. Okay, it's really not too bad to do, and it looks super nice in your app. And you can click any of these options and then uh, call a function based on what you click. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the code and figure out how to make this interface. Here I am in my projects folder. I've got the kibmd package copied over and my main.kv and my main.py file. Main.py right now is pretty much blank. It's just like a, uh, there's no logic in here. Okay, so I've just imported the MD app from kvmd.app and I've instantiated it pretty much. And in my kv file, I've got a little bit of interface but not too much um, code laid out or not too much logic. Uh, I have a box layout here and an MD toolbar widget if you don't know how these work, go check out my video. I'll put a link like up here somewhere. I won't cover in detail how this MD toolbar works because I'll assume that you've got the understanding from that earlier video. And uh, basically when you click on the dots vertical button, it will print the, the button right now. So this function will change later to open up the drop down menu. And then here I just have another box layout at the bottom, which contains a couple widgets for spacing and just the MD raise button and this will also open the menu after we add some logic to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to the Python file because the MD dropdown menu has to be instantiated in Python. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is say from kvmd.uix.menu, import MD dropdown, there it is, MD dropdown menu. <clears throat> okay, I'm also gonna do an import for the object property from kivy. So from kivy.properties, import object property, this isn't necessary, but it's definitely the right way you want to do it. It's just uh, good coding practice. Okay, so the first thing we need to do in our main app is define a new variable. I'll call it drop down, and I'm going to set this to an object property. Okay, so it's just empty for now. And now I'll work with the on start function in the app. So anytime the app is started, this on start function is automatically called. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is um, create the drop down menu. That's pretty easy to do. We can just say self.dropdown and refer to this guy up here, right? Self.dropdown equals MD dropdown menu and instantiate it just like that. Perfect. Now we need to add items to the menu. To do this, we reference our dropdown with self.dropdown and then uh, reference the items variable. Items is just an, an empty array, an empty list at this point inside of your dropdown. So we want to append a new item to it. And the item that you append to the items list is a little bit unique. It's a dictionary, okay? And you need, you need to specify a few special keys. First one is called view class. And then you specify a string. And I'll say men, MD menu item, <clears throat> okay? View class is basically the kind of widget that you want as the option, as the, um, as like the, the clickable item inside of your dropdown, okay? MD menu item is going to be pretty much what you use every time. So this view class MD menu item should be pretty standard for you for, for any time you're using the MD dropdown. Next up, you can say text, and this is the actual text of your option. So maybe I'll say like option one, okay? And then last but not least, you write callback here, and then you throw a reference to some kind of function that is called when you click on this uh, MD menu item. I'll say self dot um, option callback. Okay, so this is a reference to a function. And notice I didn't call the function like that. I'm just passing the name of the function that I haven't created yet. So let me go ahead and create that. Okay, so def option callback self. And then also this option callback has to take one more argument. And this is the text of the option. So basically, if I click an option, and it's got the name or the text of option one, that's what's passed right here. <clears throat> and for now, I'll just print text of the option. Okay, so we've got our um, drop down created, we've added some items to it. And now the last thing we need to do is actually open the drop down menu. For that, we want to go over to our KV file, because we want these, um, these functions, basically, when we click these buttons, we want uh, to open that drop down menu. To do that, I'm going to change this uh, lambda function here. Remember, this, this lambda function is just kind of unique to the MD toolbar. So normally you wouldn't use a lambda function, but that's just how you have to work uh, when using the MD toolbar. 
So okay, lambda x, and then here I write my function code. So I'll say app dot drop down. So I'm referring to my drop down menu, right? This guy here. App dot drop down dot open, and then open takes one argument, and the argument is basically where the widget or where the drop down opens from, and you pass a widget, and the drop down menu will open at the center of that widget. Okay, so I could pass like root. And basically that, that refers to here. And then if I run my app and I click on my little buttons up here, it'll open kind of at the center of my entire screen. Okay, so that's at the center of the root widget. I want it to open right on this button here. So how do I have a reference to that button? Actually, this Lambda function does it for me. This X is actually the, the, the button here. Okay, so I can just open on X. Maybe it's better if I call it like the button, Lambda the button. Okay, and then I want to open on the button. If I run this now, you'll be able to see that when I click this menu or click this button, it opens up right there. That's super handy. And it even works if I have multiple buttons here. So let me add another button to my uh, MD toolbar. All right, I'll run it. I just copy pasted that code. Okay. Now it opens up over here for that button and over there for that button. So that's perfect. That's exactly what you want for your MD toolbar. Um, you can see though that we've got a little bit of trouble. This is really not very wide. So next up, I'm going to make this a wider menu and also add a couple more options. Okay. So to add more options, you just append more things. So I'll just throw this inside um, a for loop for I in range, maybe like six. And then we'll just append a new item every time. And let's just add string of i there. Okay, so now I have six different options in my menu. Oops, for i in range. There you go. Now let me open up my menu. We can see what it looks like. Boom, all my options. Still not very wide, but if I click one, you can see that I've printed out option four down here. And that's because it calls this option callback with the text of the option, which is option four. Right? Okay. To increase the width, this is very easy. In your instantiation of the MD dropdown menu, you can just specify the width underscore mult keyword and put an integer multiplier, okay? I'll say something like four, by default it's one, okay? So if I write four, it should get about four times as big. And there you go, now that looks really nice, okay? None of my text is kind of overlapping or wrapping or anything like that, it looks really good. And it works for um, all, of the, all the menus. This is, um, this is kind of based on like a standard increment for your screen size. And if you try to put something ridiculous like 4,000, it'll automatically limit it to the biggest sort of standard increment. So now if I open this, you can see, all right, I've, it's kind of limited to the size of my screen. So that's how you work with the width of the MD dropdown menu. And the last thing I want to show is opening the menu from like a, a more normal button like this, because typically this like Lambda function isn't what you'll be doing. All right, but the key here is the app dot drop down dot open. Okay, so we'll go over to my raise button here and I'll work with the on release function. So basically when you click the button, I want to call app dot drop down. So again, reference my widget or reference my drop down widget and then call open. And now where do I want the, op where do I want the, the drop down to open? What's the widget that it should open upon? Okay, I'll just say open on self. Self here refers to the MD raise button. So when the drop down opens, it'll open on the center of the button. And that's just what I want. That's, uh, that looks nice. There we go. Okay. So you can see we've got the MD drop down menu. We've opened it from a couple different places. Here's a common one, which is why I worked with the MD toolbar. And also, so you have a little bit of a simpler example with the button there. And that's how it works. Click the option. And then based on the option that they click, you can do something else like in your option callback, like if text of the option equals option five, you would do something, right? Okay, so that's how you work with the um, MD dropdown menu. I hope that was a helpful video and stay tuned for more QBMD videos. All right, take care.